Yeah. What can I say? It's a good question. Um, Dippity Doo Anna asked me, why are you so kawaii? And these are my word strangles for ya. I don't know. Why are you so kawaii, my dear? I love you. Um, Jimmy Epley asked me, what's your favorite Pink Floyd song not written by Roger Waters? Excuse you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like fart humor. It's a thing. Some bastard's driving his motorcycle from the neighborhood. Okay. Um, probably Summer 68, which was written by Rick Wright on the album Adam Heart Mother. I like that song quite a bit, and I also love the album. I really want it on vinyl, but I haven't been able to find it. So yeah, um, look in my direction, Ashlyn asked me, if you had the chance to hang out with your favorite musician for a day, what would you do? And what's your favorite childhood memory? I had to think about this for a long time. This is a really good question, made me think. Um, so I got to thinking. My favorite musicians ever are the Beatles as a whole, Bob Dylan, and, um, couple, well, yeah, they're my favorites, and I realized that if I wanted to hang out with Paul or Ringo or Bob, I technically can't, but I could, if you know what I'm saying, just because they're still with us. So, out of George and John who aren't with us, I'm gonna have to say that I would love to spend the day with John Lennon, because who wouldn't? I mean, maybe most people would say that, but John really does mean a lot to me, as the Beatles do. As all five of them do, Bob included. Um, we do. You know, I just want to talk with John. And go out to lunch, because he, that, that'd be fun. Um, just talking and writing and jamming a little bit, having a good laugh, that'd be fun. To hang out with John and do that. You know? Maybe the food aspect is more of a George thing, just because, you know, I can relate to George. Foodie. Fuck it. But, <laughs> I'd love to spend the day with John. I would love to have a conversation with him about anything. Like, it'd be so amazing. That's a great question. Um, my favorite childhood memory? I'm gonna say two. If you don't really care. I hope not. I want to say too. Um, so when I was little, up until I was almost four, I lived in Southern California, Orange, Orange County, City of Orange, in case you didn't catch that, <laughs> and I lived a little less than 10 minutes away from Disneyland. So I went there, I mean, I have been there in my life way over 200 times. I'm being absolutely honest, because I went there at least twice a week with my mom for the first three years of my life. Three and a half, I guess. And other times with my grandparents or friends. So I've been there so many times. I know that puck like the bag in my hand. And it's happy there. There's nothing wrong with it, ever. I love Disneyland. I want to go back there very badly. I've been there in over a year. It's like a withdrawal so into my love Disneyland. It makes me happy. Um, and also, I'm gonna have to say for my second one, the first time I traveled internationally was about four years ago when I was 11. I went to England for the first time. And that was mind-blowing, the first time I went. Because it was the longest plane, I'd ever, plane flight I'd ever been on. And when I went there, just, you know, everyone had the British accent, and I'd already watched like Harry Potter and little kids shows with British accents tons and tons of times over. But when you're there for the first time, it's like, whoa, everybody has an accent. It's like when I first went to France and everyone there was speaking French, and all the signs were in French. It was so cool. And it's just when you travel internationally for the first time, you'll understand. Or if you already have, maybe you do. It's just, wow, you'll never forget it. Uh, Paul McCartney Vegetarian. Well, now your name's changed. Now you're Don John Densmore's sideburns, you silly goose. Allie asked me, oh boy, have you ever tickled your baby's fancy? Explain what you mean and the story behind it. I didn't want to have to talk about this. <laughs> it's okay, though. So, 
as I was saying most of you know, last week, last week, I went to a Bob Dylan concert two states over in Montana. It was beautiful. It was perfect. And I tickled his fancy. Let me explain. So if you read the caption on the picture of the ticket I posted, I talked about how, um, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm talking about myself too much, but whatever. That's the point. I should shut up. Okay, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm very awkward. I talked about how I kind of got his attention during Tangled Up in Blue with these luscious locks. Huh. I don't know, they looked red at the time. They mostly do look red if I'm outside. But, um, my hair was red, and if you know Bob, a song, Tangled Up in Blue, there's a line that goes, if her hair was still red. And he looked right at me when he sang that, and so I was like, ho 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 ho. And then, of course, I knew all the words to the song. So I was singing them, I was screaming them, and I was like, yeah! And then he kind of noticed that I was saying them all. Of course, because I was going like, you know, being very ostentatious about it. And, um, then he sang the rest of the song to me personally. I can say that. And for the rest of the concert, up until the very last encore bow, he looked at me a lot. And I mean a lot. And I'm not just saying this, because, like, for the first two songs he had sunglasses on, you couldn't tell what he was looking at. But then he took them off, about the third one, because it's getting darker. And he looked at me quite a lot. And I'm happy because I love Bob, like, in that way, more than anybody. Okay? I just, I do, I do, I do. I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, he looked at me quite a lot. So I was, now I feel like a pretty person. I never felt pretty. And, and he looked at me a lot. So, um, and also, the main reason why I said Jiggled It's Fancy is because, oh lord, how do I put this? Well, what can I say? Bob had one hell of a boner. Yep. For a lot of the concert. And may I just say, I'm taking credit for that. <laughs> I feel really gross now, but I, uh, I don't care. It was just, as you have said, Allie, what else could it be? I don't know. I don't know if performers just get boners during concerts or if it's something very special. So, yeah, I have tickled his fancy. He looked at me right as the stage lights went off and they walked off. It was magic. Okay. More cowbell. And I'm very sorry. Um, to talk about you in this degrading way, but I can't remember what your name is. I think it was Claire, right, on your first account? If it's not, I'm very, very sorry. But, um, I hope that's right. Asked me, do you like donuts? Yes, I love donuts. I had them for breakfast yesterday. And oh my god, they're perfect. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? Well, I already have five cats. And they're just the best. I'm actually looking at one right now, right behind my iPhone camera. Hi, baby. And there's one under my bed, which is what it's standing on. Um, so I have cats, and that's good. Uh, I have a rat, and those are the ones, the animals I love most. But an animal I can't obtain, and I would love, would be a polar bear. Okay, I love polar bears, man. They're awesome. They're, they just look so soft. I mean, I know the fur is not technically soft. I did a project about them. I know everything. But they just look so soft and fuzzy and I want to go up to the Arctic Circle and be with them. Just because. I love them. If I could have one of my own in an environment that wouldn't torture them like where I live, even though it's Washington, um, I would love to have one. I love them. Um, do you play any instruments? Yes, I do. I play the piano. I played for nine years and the guitar, which I just started last year. I'm trying to teach myself. We'll see how that goes. And favorite TV show? I don't watch a lot of TV, but my favorite shows probably would be I Love Lucy and that 70s show, man, those are great. Um, Amelia Grace 6, Abby, asked me, 
what's your favorite college? Um, I haven't really thought about this. I've only really been to one college, and that would be Chapman University in Southern California. It's uh, where my dad went, and in the city where I was born. So I would be interested in going there someday. That's probably my number one choice in colleges right now. It has a lot of programs that I'd be open to taking. Um, it's close enough to like houses I could rent or something, and in an area I know pretty well. So that'd be my favorite one, I think. And if you could vandalize a school in any way, what would you do? Hmm. Um, what I'd like to do would, I don't know if you get this reference, but that's okay. Um, Pink Floyd has an album called The Wall, you know, and the cover is just, I wish I had it on vinyl so I could show you, but I don't, um, it's just like a brick wall. So I would like to have a brick wall and like paint it like the wall with like little, um, accentuated little cracks between the bricks. And then I'd like to paint symbols from the movie on it because there's a scene in the movie about a school and I won't quote the whole song because I'll have too much fun but it goes, we don't need no education and as much as I do value education <laughs> I hate school so I would love to paint a lot of symbols from the movie on it a lot of them from that particular song another brick in the wall part two and like paint a bunch of symbols from the movie because it'd be cool, it would look awesome um... so yeah I'd like to paint a wall mural. Pink Floyd, yeah. Um, last questions. Maybe I'm amazed. Emily asked me, what was the best part of your summer this year? Oh man. Eat mating Ringo, man. It's <laughs> the best part of the summer, best part of my life. You know. And what do you want to do when you grow up? I've always wanted to be a photojournalist for National Geographic or Rolling Stone. Or maybe even like some fashion magazine just because well, I love writing, and love taking pictures, a little bit more, <laughs> um, and yeah, I would love to, I've always kind of been drawn to photography since I got my first camera way back in the, oh hello, in the very beginning of elementary school, so I'd love to do something with photography and writing, a photojournalist would be perfect, and if it was for National Geographic, I could travel, so that'd be more fun favorite things all in one job. That's like my dream job. And would you rather spend a day with Paul or Ringo? I'm gonna have to say Paul on this one. <laughs> Sorry Ringo. Um, as much as I'd like having like a Twitter marathon with Ringo, that'd be the, that'd be the greatest thing. Um, I feel like we'd be working out all the time, so that'd be like... Anyway, yeah I'd have to say Paul. I love Paul. He's, he's, he's a cutie. He's still, he's still adorable. And that'd be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for your questions. Those are some really good ones. And I like answering questions on these videos. It's pretty fun. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have anything else to say. So, um, thank you for the questions. And if you watch, thank you very much. I love you.